Hello students, this is Dr. Ben. I'd like to work through a problem out of chapter 6 that has to do with the topic of conservation of energy. So this is a, a straightforward problem involving an object. We have an, a hang glider here. We're given some information about its initial situation, how fast it's going, and then it changes its altitude. And we're supposed to figure out how fast it's going after it changes its altitude. So this is really a problem in energy um, energy transformation. So we have uh, a change in gravitational energy for the hang glider, and then that causes the kinetic energy to change in a corresponding way, where energy will still be conserved. So we want to go ahead and use the conservation of energy principle in order to solve this. So we can start by saying that either the mechanical energy in the original situation is equal to the mechanical energy in the final situation, or we could say that the change in the gravitational energy would be equal to negative of the change in the kinetic energy, because the sum of those two changes would have to add up to zero. And actually, that's probably the easiest way to do it for our problem, because we're told what the change in the elevation is between the two points, so it's pretty straightforward to figure out what is the change in the gravitational potential energy for the hang glider. All right, so, well, let's go ahead and do that. So the hang glider is moving downward, so its gravitational energy is getting smaller. So delta U gravitational should be negative mg times the delta H that I wrote down in our table that's known. And then that will be equal to negative the change in the kinetic energy. So that will be 1 half m v final squared minus one half m v original squared and the goal of our problem is to find this final speed. Alright, so we see conveniently that the masses cancel out in all the terms so we need to do a little rearranging. The minus signs go away on both sides so we have g times delta h is equal to one half v final squared minus one half v original squared. So if we multiply both sides by two, v final squared minus v original squared equals two g times delta h that's given v final squared equals v original squared plus 2g times delta h. And then all we've got to do is take the square root of both sides. v final equals the square root of v original squared plus 2g delta h. All right, so let's get our calculator out and figure out what these numbers are. So delta H is 8.2 meters. We multiply that by G, 9.8. Multiply that by 2. So that's 160.7. And I add that to 9.5 squared. So that gives me around 251. And I take the square root of that and I get 15.8. 15.8 meters per second. So that's the value of the final velocity of this hang glider. So it started out at 9.5 meters per second. It descended 8.2 meters. It picked up some speed and it ended up at 15.8 meters per second.